to get started, you're going to need your yarn. So we're going to be using some black yarn. I've chosen Red Heart Super Saver So you want to start off by taking black. your red yarn and your circular needle size 8. And you'll and also cast be on 90 stitches. some red yarn. I have Craft Smarts Value Yarn in Bright Red. Then for this row, then we're going to increase your needles, 10 stitches. Every 9 stitches, we're going circular to do a yarn over eight. increase. You'll also be needing a set of size 8 double pointing needles for our decreasing of our crown. A tapestry needle for sewing in our ends. A stitch marker. If you're making Mickey, you will need two yellow buttons. And if you're making Minnie, you will need an assortment of white buttons. Depending on how many polka dots you want, determines how many buttons you need. As of right now, I have 10 1 inch buttons and 10 half inch buttons. So you want to start off by taking your red yarn and your circular needle size 8 and cast on 90 stitches. And put your stitch marker on your right needle. And now for this hat I'm going to be doing a 2 by one rib. So I'm going to be knitting 2 stitches, purling 1. You can alternate any type of ribbing that you prefer. You could do a knit 1, purl 1, knit 2, purl 2. You can even do fancy mock ribs and seed stitch ribs, whatever you prefer. For this one though, I felt like doing a two by one. So we're just gonna begin with a knit one, knit one, purl one, and repeat. So knit two, purl one. And you can make your ribbing as wide of a band as you like. So then you just want to work your 2 by one rib for about an inch and a half. I did eight rows. So you can see our cool little ribbing here with just our single purl stitch right there. And you can make this as um, thick of a band or as thin as you like. I like the way um, the one and a half inch looks. Now we're going to work our increase row and we want to increase 10 stitches so every ninth stitch we're going to do an increase. And you can work any type of increase that you like and we're just going to knit across all our stitches. So we're just going to knit across 9 So after you've worked across nine, I'm going, so you can do any increase you want. You can do the knit in the front and back. You can pull up the horizontal bar and make a stitch. But I'm going to do the yarn over increase. So you're just going to yarn over like normal. So you're going to bring your yarn forward between your needles, back over to the back. And then you're going to knit nine. And then repeat the same process, making a yarn over. Bring your yarn forward between your needles and towards the back. And then our next row, I'll show you how we're going to close our yarn overs. So once you've worked all your yarn overs around, your count should be 100. And now we're going to close our yarn overs. So you finish that last row with a yarn over. So you should have your yarn in the front but pulled to the back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to knit up to our first yarn over and make sure that it stays on the opposite side of your stitch marker. So we're just going to knit up to our first yarn over and we can see it sitting there so we don't want a hole in our work, so we're going to have to close this yarn over. So you're going to take your right needle and go in the back loop of your yarn over and knit it like normal. And that's going to close up the hole that would have been if we just knitted it normally. You see there's no hole right here. 
So you just want to repeat that all the way around until you've closed all your all your yarn overs. So we're just going to knit to our next one. So again, we have our open yarn over increase. We're going to knit through the back loop like normal to close our yarn over. And we're just going to repeat that around. So next we're going to work the body of our hat and this hat is very simple as it's just going to be stockinette. So what you want to do with your red yarn is you're going to work stockinette for four inches and you want to count your measurement from your cast on edge. So you want to go ahead and work from cast on up four inches in your red color. Just in plain stockinette so because we're working in the round you're just going to knit every row. So once you have your four inches from your cast on edge, we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to begin knitting with our black color. So like always when you change colors, you just want to leave a small tail on the inside of your hat, holding the tail of the red also in the back, and just begin knitting your stitches like normal with the black. And then we're just going to continue in stockinette with our black yarn until our hat measures 7 inches from the cast on edge. So we're just going to keep working with the black until our hat measures 7 inches. So once your hat measures 7 inches, it should look like this, half red, half black. On that final row, you want to space four markers evenly on your row. So you have your row marker, which marks when we begin a new row. So make sure you have one that's different than the others. And then you want to place four others within your stitches every 20 stitches. And that is how we're going to be determining our decreases. So to so to begin our decreases, we're going to pass our row marker and we're going to begin with an SSK decrease. So you want to slip one, slip one, put your left needle in front of that first one as if to knit and knit them together. Then we're going to knit up to the last two stitches before our next marker. So we're down to our final two stitches. We're going to knit two together. Then we're going to pass our stitch marker and repeat. So you want to do an SSK decrease. Knit to the final two stitches before our stitch marker. Knit two together. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Then we're just going to work a plain knit row. And we're going to keep alternating between our decrease row and our plain row until we end up with 10 stitches in total. So then you're just going to weave the end through and pull tight the top of your hat. And here you have an easy beanie if you want to just leave it here. If you want to continue and make this more of our Mickey Minnie Mouse inspired hat, then we're going to start on our ears. So you want to take your size 8 needles. You can still use your circular needle or you can use your double pointing needles. We're just going to be knitting them flat. And you want to take your black yarn and we're going to cast on 10 stitches. So once you have your 10 stitches, you're going to turn your work and we're just going to purl across all stitches. Then for row 2, we're going to start off with a knit 1. Then we're going to do a knit in the front and back increase. So we're just going to knit like normal, leave it on our left needle swing our right needle to the back and knit through the back loop of the same stitch 
pull it off and we've made our increase. Then we're going to knit up to our last two stitches. And then we're going to do a front and back increase. So we're just going to knit into our next stitch, swing around, knit into the back loop, made our increase, and finish with a knit one. And then for all odd rows or wrong side rows, we're just going to purl across our stitches. Then for row four, we're going to start with a knit one. Then we're going to do a knit and front and back increase. Knit across to our last two stitches. And as you can see, there's a pattern forming here on how we're going to create these ears. So we're just going to keep continuing an increase row and a plain purl row until we get the size of ears that we want. So when we get to our last two stitches, we're going to do our increase and knit one. So you just want to keep repeating one purl row and one increase row until you have a total of 16 stitches. Now we're going to begin the decreases for the front part of our ear. So you want to start off with a knit one, knit two together, then you're going to knit to the last three stitches, then we're going to do a knit two together, knit one, and then we're going to do a plain purl row. And just the way we did the increases, we're going to be doing the decreases. So we're going to alternate between a decrease row and a plain purl row until we're back down to our beginning 10 stitches. So once you're down to your 10 stitches again, we're going to do one more decrease row and we're going to knit two together all the way across. So this is going to take our count to five stitches. Like so. Then we're gonna do a plain purl row across these five. And you can make the ears as big as you want. You just increase more before you begin your decreases to round off your ears. So now we have the front part of our ear. So as you can tell, it has this curve to it and it's not very sturdy. So we want to make the back side so we can fold it over and get sturdier shaped ears for the top of our hat. So now what we're going to do is get back to our 10 stitches. So we want to increase every stitch. So we're going to do our front and back increase in all five to bring our count back to 10. And this and the decrease row also helps with the folding of the top of the ear so that it lays a little nicer. So now we're back to our 10 stitches. Then we're just going to repeat the same process as we did for this ear. So when you've completed it, your piece should look like this. Then we're going to fold it over right in the middle, and there is our ear. So you're just going to take the tail end and you're going to sew up each side of your ear, and then attach the bottom to our hat, and make sure to make two of these, one for each ear, and attach them to your hat. Once your ears are attached, to make Mickey, you're just going to add two yellow buttons to where the red and the black meet. To change this up into mini, you're going to add the white buttons and stagger them to create the polka dots on her skirt. And I was going for more of the vintage Minnie and Mickey, so I put this flower on Minnie as she wears in the old cartoons. If you'd like to put her more updated hair bow, I will link two bow videos down below where you can knit one to add to your hat. I hope you enjoyed this Mickey and Minnie inspired hat. 
please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.